people it's been a few days since the last video because of X amount of reasons there was flooding um, on top of that the floods pass and then I don't know how many people listen but my my old earphone got ran over I don't know how well it's gonna pick it up but I've had to wait four days to get a new earphone it's just I've literally had it given to me last night so we can get the show on the road so we're going from Chiang Mai to Laos and then we're getting a two-day boat so it's going to be a, uh, a video over the course of three days I'm gonna, not going to try and make it too long but more or less trying to get in all the bits of information of getting the boat because from what I've been told it can be quite stressful so let's get into it so that's the bike returned one less thing to worry about that's been paid for the only problem is now a minute ago I got pulled over by the police because I'm kind of trying to rush I didn't pull the camera out but obviously they asked my national driver license which I have and it's currently half past 10 and we need to get a bus there at 11 o'clock my friend on the other hand hasn't got any national driver license and it normally whenever you get pulled over by the police it takes about an hour to go and go to the police station pay the fine he was also trying to sort something else out and I was like bro I'm not waiting for you I was like you've been awake for like two hours why have you not gone and done these like extra little things you're trying to sort out so um I don't think he's gonna make it personally here is the lovely bus terminal. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing special, but you can see it. When I sit down, I'll show you on the map if the camera allows it to focus where we, where we are and where we're trying to go. Um, it's quite a long journey. It's about eight hours on a bus, and you've got to get two different buses as well. And we're hoping, just on hindsight, that we can get the second bus because you can't book it. So, by the skin of his teeth, he's actually made it. I don't even know how he's made it because at the minute, past the time but whilst I'm here this is the first leg so we're down here in Chiang Mai we're going up to here Chiang Rai it's about four hours on the bus and then once we land there by chances as well because you can't book the bus we got to go from Chiang Rai up to you know what I don't even know how you pronounce that Hoi Chav Hoi Chav I'm not even sure and then we're gonna stay there for one night and then the following morning we get on a boat which is right outside where we're staying this is this room over here and then we have a boat for nine hours stay in a pack bang and then stay there the night wake up the next morning get on another boat for like seven hours and then we get to Lang Prabang so the bus has just randomly stopped and we're at the highway police which is really strange. We're gonna ask the guy, because I'm not really sure why we stopped. Oh, it's not wrong with the engine. Ah, the engine's broke. Nice. Doesn't look very good, that. It's hot. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be here for a hot minute then. Excellente. And all we have here is a toilet. And it's absolutely roasting. Looks like this nine hour Todd, that's the problem. Engine's broke. We got some knockoff shades yesterday. He's not even taking the sticker off. <laughs> I like to <laughs> keep taking the sticker not off. Very bro. authentic. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even sure how long it's been. Maybe like an hour. <laughs> but an empty coach is pulling in. So I'm guessing. Fingers crossed they're gonna pick us all up, but. This is already going to be one long journey and now it's just being even longer so hopefully moving forward nothing else goes wrong touch wood but yeah we're slowly making progress this time yeah we're at 20 to 3 in the afternoon i'm also going to be running through the whole visa process as well for anyone that wants to know what happens with the visa so like i'm going to be covering everything from chiang mai to getting to lang, lang prabang i also haven't booked my room for the, the once you see the first day of the slow boat, you need to stay in a place called Pack Bang. And I'm looking at booking somewhere now. I managed to find something for £2. That is literally, it's on a Goda as well. The name of the 
place. It's a guest house. It looks alright. You can't see very well on the camera, unfortunately. But that is literally 80 baht. I mean, the reviews look alright. What's the worst that could happen? Right. I just got to try and work out what's going on. All I know is that is where I need to go. Chang Kong, number nine, at the bus station. There's no bus here at the minute. Doesn't look good. Um, I'm not even sure we can buy a ticket. I'm gonna guess over there. I'm kind of crossing my fingers. Some guys offer us a lift on the tuk tuk, so I'm nah. None of your business, please, sir. I want to go to Chang Rong. Chang Rong. Chang Rong. Where are you go? Chang Rong. I want to get a Laos. Laos? Laos. Yes. Ah, Chang Rong. Uh, Find that out now. Here from platform number six, you pay on the bus. Pay on the bus. Yeah. Pay on the bus. Pay on the bus. The local bus platform number six. The red bus as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what time? It's not there now. Uh, time at that's why you you can talk to the driver. The bus coming. Okay. Thank time you. Home. Right. There we go. You heard it there yourself. You pay on the bus. The woman at the till claims the bus is coming. There is a timetable that says the last bus is at four. But we'll see. Because, well, I might just go and ask her again. See what she says. Right, this has not been ideal, but because our original coach broke down and we were stranded for an hour and a half, the last bus actually generally is at four o'clock. The tuk tuk driver is trying to offer, offer us a lift for 1500 baht, which is pretty expensive considering it's only an hour and a bit away. But trusty grab is here to save the day guy's on his way and he's doing it for a thousand baht which is roughly uh 20 quid so between two of us is 10 pounds i mean that's it's, it's, it's not the worst thing i mean we're gonna get air gone we're definitely gonna get there tonight but i've already booked the accommodation for tonight and we paid for it so we've been missing out more money we miss out on more money if you then booked accommodation tonight food and that you know i mean etc and i'm trying to chase my tail from being stuck here for the last few days because of the floods and my earphones being done so in uh, four minutes time we're so leaving in China Hello. Hello. you go to Xiang Hong yes immigration I give uh, 1,000 baht yeah well we give you 1,000 now okay perfect okay thank you success we're actually gonna get there today the boot wants to open but oh, I'm being alright sausage now oh there we go Got the <laughs> <laughs> My man's playing baseball on his well, days off. actually funny is about two hours ago I literally said everything else should go smoothly, nothing else can go wrong. <laughs> but we're going to go wrong. Hello, so, lovely driver. Uh, Dan, Dan, hey, so, Dan, can't be catch me there. Going for immigration. The friendship immigration bridge itself where we're going closes at 10 p.m. And obviously you have to allow at least an hour for immigration for your visas and that. I did actually try applying for my visa the other day because I've got down on my phone, you need to apply at least three days before. If you apply for your visa three days before, they'll charge you a fee at, to, to rush, almost similar to when you try and get a passport, you try and rush to get a passport. So I'm guessing if you get an e-visa online, if you, oh look at the sunset as well. I'm gonna see for it, that's a shame. If you get an e-visa online, maybe like two weeks before, but if, if not even that expensive, it's 30 pounds, which is about $40. And I have actually written down on my phone that you need to prove proof of onwards travel when you go to Lao. But I was speaking to somebody the other day who claimed that nobody asked them to have that proof. But if you do need to provide proof, then all you really need is just a bus ticket to show you're going from, let's say, from Laos to Vietnam. And you can edit that later, a later date, just when you enter the country. They do ask for that, but I haven't booked one yet. But if I book it on a spot, I'll obviously make note of that. But I'm pretty sure you don't need to. This is us, awesome. then. This is Thailand. That's Laos. And um, we've managed to see the sunrise. So I keep saying sunrise, sunset the whole way. It's been pretty good, to be fair. But I've never done this before, so. But there's no one here, so it should be a smooth, easy process. But you might obviously have passport photos, which I've got, but my friend hasn't got them because he never listens. So it might be a bit of a ball ache for him, but for me, it should be okay. Fingers crossed. All right, passport control, border pass. So just walk straight in. And the currency exchange is closed, which is really, really annoying, to be honest. Um, there's a boss man here. Not really sure where to go. Excuse me, we want to go through here? 
That's it, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. The guy would let me film, but let me get it up. That's us stamped out of here. Now we're going over there, but there's a bridge, and someone said you can only get a bridge, you can only get across the bridge with a bus. And that's the bus there, and it says it's also 3 p.m., so I guess we're gonna have to walk. I mean, there's a bus there, actually, to be fair. Who can hook me up? Hello? <laughs> you know, it's mad because it's not even that late. It's literally quarter to seven. There's some people over here. I don't know what they're gonna tell me. We'll find out in a minute. So, although it says visa on arrival, which is there, I'm guessing that's to Thailand. So I'm still technically in Thailand. You have to go across the bridge to get to Laos to get your visa in Laos. So, gotta hop on the bus. I'm sure I'll pay someone a hefty fee because there's no one else here. And then go to Laos and then get the visa when I arrive over there. I think so. <laughs> I'm hoping so. <laughs> they give us 100. So it's 40 baht if you're here after hours, even though it's not even that much after hours. And it's, I think it's 25 if you get a good time. But hey ho, it's one of those little things, I guess. Yeah, there's all the Thai flags. Does that mean we're still technically? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a flag's gonna change there. I don't know if our camera's gonna pick it up. Three. Two, one, bang! We've just changed country like that. <laughs> Madness, that is. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up, but hey ho, we'll see. Oh, smell the Lao's air. Fan. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. There's a step there. Nice. So it seems so sort of dark and gloomy, but it's literally not. And it's full moon is literally tonight. Right, we're off the bus, got my documents in this lovely, to be fair, I don't look the best around here, but it's functional. It's lovely, but that says staff, I don't know, to the window. To the window! To the wall! Here we go then. It's probably not going to let me film, so um, catch me after. And we got to fill in a load of paperwork too, I'll which is part of this. back there. So I've just filled in the two forms, now we're just waiting. Go make sure you get your photo done as well. Um, I think they fill in a little bit, you fill in a little bit. Um, haven't filled in the... Next window, perfect. Okay. Um, if you want to take my photo, I thought you were telling me off for taking a photo, basically. But they have my passport, taking a photo of me, and now I'm just waiting in the window. But stay tuned. <laughs> So I've now just paid 1,800 baht, which is roughly 40 quid for the visa. <clears throat> could be worse, could be better. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be 30, but I think that charges more just because it's later in the day, even though it's 7 o'clock and it closes at 10. But what can you do? Give me some food. Well, to be fair, that was pretty straightforward. But the only thing is now, I can't imagine there's any taxis just waiting for us outside. Well, this is outside, actually. There's no one here at all. There's definitely no buses around here. And, I mean, they might have Grab, but I don't reckon they will have Grab. Anyone back home doesn't know what Grab is. Grab is the Thai equivalent of Uber, and it's stupidly cheap. This is where we're staying. And they even do the boat tickets in here as well. Someone told me it's 400,000 kip. So, we shall see. But at the minute... Hello. So I've just had to change my Thai money to Kip. And anyone read that number? What's that? Nine nine billion eight hundred and eighty one million one thousand and six. Or maybe nine million eight hundred eighty one thousand. I don't it's a lot of money, I know that. I'm rich. <laughs> so I'm in room number three. It's number two. Number three, that's the river right there. Let's see here. Uh, you know what, I can't remember how much this cost me now, but it wasn't much. <laughs> the key's stuck in the door. There we go. <laughs> it's a light switch. Oh, there. Ta da! Oh my god. <laughs> Luxury! <laughs> So all I have to pray for now is no bed bugs. If there's no bed bugs, 
perfect happy days. This is the bathroom. Oh my god, look at the size of that spider. <laughs> What's it holding? Hello? That is insane. What else we got in here? Any other creepy crawlies? Oh, there's a window there. Brilliant. Here is Spidey, Spidey. <sighs> it's holding something. I've never seen a spider like that in my life. Hello? Anyway, I'm not for a dodgy looking spider. My friend's definitely petrified of spiders as well. Let's see if he's out. No, he's chatting away. But the woman at the uh, the woman at the hotel, well, hotel if you like, is going to change my money up for me as well, which is perfect. And I'm paying for it. They're going to pick me up in the morning to get straight up, straight to the boat. So, perfect though. Okay, so I've done what I can to try and get rid of the spider. I didn't go to plan, and um, well, it was obviously housing <laughs> a million and one baby spiders, and they're literally now absolutely <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Someone get a fire out. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. <laughs> That's insane. Apparently in this country there's spiders everywhere. I used to work with spiders, so I'm not that bothered to be honest, but I wouldn't really want to wake up with that in my mouth. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I just want to say the woman in the place I've stayed, she sorted us out food for tonight. She's given us two lots of lunch. She's done me a SIM card, all for like, I did, you know what, the exchange right here is crazy. I don't even know how much she's charged me, but it's not been a lot of money. And I got a 15 gig SIM for 30 days. And it's, I think it's maybe cost me like a couple of quid, which is banging, but I'm gonna try and get in and have a shower and pack my bag for ready for tomorrow. And then I get up a crack of dawn and tackle this boat basically. So yeah, catch me on the boat in the morning. Yo, what's going on, it's currently 7.20 in the morning and now the whole view of the river has been unveiled and that looks incredible there's a massive golden buddha up there as well so, the, so that there is thailand and this is laos so that is the border <laughs> the river is what differentiates the difference between the two countries um we're getting picked up from here in an hour just gonna refresh get some food down the Accommodation has got some lunch sort. I just ran some figures like last night and it turns out that to stay here is roughly £12 a night for two people, which is insane. I mean, it's not the best place in the world, but it's not the worst place in the world, do you know what I mean? And considering where we are, and this is a very, very, very poor country, it's not a bad of a place. And as, as it goes further along the river, there's nothing really that special. So it's kind of take what you can get ready. Really. But yeah, today is the first leg of the boat trip. It's nine hours on a wooden boat. The boat shouldn't be that busy because at the minute there's been flooding in Chiang Rai, meaning that you can't actually book the boat through like a tour agency. You can only book a boat through local people here, meaning that it should be, fingers crossed, not that busy. But if it is busy, well, it's going to be a fun ride. <laughs> also, whilst we're all here, you've made it this far in a video, please hit the like button in the corner. It really helps the algorithm YouTube and it allows the video to be seen to more people, which really helps me as a small channel. Also, I've given myself a little check over on that and I had no bed bugs, no mosquito bites, well, no new ones, I say. So this place gets, gets a good rating from me. So yeah, happy days. So we've arrived uh, about an hour early. It's not really many people here right now. I think we are generally the first van that's arrived. Obviously we're gonna be on this boat for nine hours, right? So the accommodation gives you lunch, obviously if you pay for the lunch. So I've got lovely, two lovely lunch boxes here this morning. There ain't no health and safety around here. Go on, boy. <laughs> this is not looking nice down here, mind. Although on the, on the boat there, don't look too bad. Don't look too bad, we're not getting on that one. <laughs> we're getting on this one. That's the luxury one. <laughs> but I mean, for 12 pounds for two days. What can you really expect? But I'll cut one on there. So this is on the other boats. They are some long boats, to be honest. There's a hell of a lot of seats, but I think as tourists, I'm also so sweaty. And you have to take your shoes off, which is pretty gross, to be perfectly honest with you. But by the looks of things, if you're a tourist, you're stuck up there, which isn't that great. But hey, huh? it is what it is. 
And a minute, I'm currently sweating so bad, but I don't know if you can see this, but they're about to bring up, I mean, they got a washing machine on there as well, but it looks like they're trying to bring on a motorbike onto the boat, and the boat is absolutely rammed now. We, we got here at half past eight. It's now 10 o'clock. And we, <laughs> these people here are nuts. Fair play. So, we are currently, let's have a look, two hours down, and, all we're seeing at the minute is just sweet, sweet, sweet views. And because we got a bit of a breeze, it's uh, it's actually not that bad now. Yeah. There's not really an awful lot to check in for, really. The boat's still absolutely round. We had a little bit of a stop a minute ago. But, I mean, they got managed to get two motorbikes on here in the end as well, which is insane and definitely wearing us down. Unfortunately, you can't really see, but right there, there's a, there's a water buffalo. There is chance we might see some elephants as well, but this is where we're at at a minute. We're roughly about halfway down to the trip today. The woman there falling asleep, I just kicked her in the foot. Five and a half hours we've been on it. And actually, you know what? It's not even been that bad. When the when the boat's going, as the breeze is quite nice. But this is uh, this is Pack Bang. And we're staying 20 minute walk away, 50 minute walk away, I think. You can stay right on these front ones, but from what I've seen online, it wasn't the best of accommodation. So stay tuned when I'm getting off the boat. As you can see, I'm absolutely sweating. They're all loaded onto this tiny little truck. Somehow I booked three different accommodations and I forgot. But we've made some friends on the boat. So I've tried to cancel. They're going to give me a free cancellation. So we're going to get them on them and they're going to pay me. So fingers crossed it's all good. So, we're now at first night, second homestay. Look at that for a view, man. Tell me I've not booked the best place in the world. <laughs> And then the next one is actually there. So we've hooked, them up, hooked everyone up. We've met with a bed, which is nice. This is the room. We paid eight pound a night. Whoa, look at that. Have a little walk around. I mean, there's really not much here at all. So I'm going to have a little sing song. Don't get copyright on that one. The um, accommodation does sell food, but I thought I'm going to have a little wander around first. I need to buy some energy. I've not really done an awful lot today. I can be able to sleep if not. I've just found a crab. Hello, Mr. Crab. I accidentally kicked it. I thought, what was that? It kept moving. Well, I paid the lady. I have no idea how much we even paid her because the <laughs> currency in this place is insane. Which one? This one. Right? Oh, that is up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just got scammed. <laughs>
Let me get two. So this is this is Amir, right? I met him on the boat today. He reckons that he he has the the skill. Oh, exactly. the but I'm telling you now. <laughs> Those things you're firing weigh absolutely nothing. The pressure is insane. But it's just firing straight and then up. Humbled. <laughs> so we've wandered a bit further and now they got a bit of gambling going on. So they're rolling the ball, whatever it lands on, get your money out and then happy days. Which is insane. And then there's a few other food. Oh, there's loads of it around here. It's an insane little place. It's not as expecting at all. I found the mother load. Look at the little puppies. Ah, oh, they are literally tiny. Right, day two with the squad, with the bags. We got the lunch. I ain't got a nice fancy lunchbox today, don't. There's the boat. Well, there's one of the boats, should I say. It's a lovely sun. Apparently, this is a shorter day today, but. So it turns out today, whoa, bad balance. We're on a different boat, maybe a better one. I think it looks a bit more, I mean, it's a lot more busy though. Now I gotta get me shoes off again. Don't wanna do that. Trying to work out on the maps like how long we're gonna be on this boat for today. I'm thinking, gosh, we windy out here. It's about three hours. I'm thinking, but this is the kind of view we work with. This little outside deck is so hot. There's a lovely bit of carpet it's hooking me right up. I think the time lapse I've done does actually look okay. So fingers crossed, it should actually be all good. But look at the man. Look, he ain't even got a full on chair. But this is the captain of the ship, Alan at large. And, uh, so. After seven hours, oh Jesus, we are finally getting off the boat. And it's been a long seven hours as well, but we have made it. So when you get to Langfabang, this is the mode of transport with, what's that, seven people and ten bags? We are, we are on, we're on a trike and the road condition is absolutely terrible. And it has actually just started raining as well, so this is our escape from the rain. We paid, we paid 40,000 kit, which is roughly £1.50 to get to the centre. If we're going to get there in one piece and survive, it's a whole different question. <laughs> so, that's going to be the end of the video. I'd say that overall, if you're questioning doing the two-day slow boat, and you're like on edge, or if you want to go sit in a, a, a van for nine hours instead, I would fully recommend to do the slow boat. You obviously can move around, there's a toilet, there's food, there's even some alcohol if you want to get off your face. <laughs> the views are insane, I'm hoping the video can allow you to see all of the views as well. It's lots of wild animals, you meet lots of nice new people as well. So yeah, if you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, I'll catch you on the next one.